I'm Dr. Amber Belt and I am here today to let you know about three essential products that I have in my natural first aid kit. And you could have in yours too if you wanted to. So when I thought about this, I thought about making a top, a top three natural first aid kit list, but I thought about it more and picking a top three when I started thinking about it, it was like when someone asks me to pick my top three favorite songs or my top three bands. Because when you think about that, and when I thought about, thought about it in terms of natural first aid, it was impossible. Um, there's just too much good stuff out there um, in terms of music and natural first aid supplies that I couldn't hone it in to a top three. So, um, so I decided on three essentials instead. Now, if you're just starting out building your own natural first aid kit, um, what you wanna look for are items that multitask. Um, you are going to get really overcrowded really quickly if you have a bunch of items that just address, that just address one issue. So if you start with a base of your multitaskers and then build your first aid kit up to meet your needs, um, you're going to get a kit that of course meets your own needs but has a broad enough base to um, to fulfill a lot of needs too. So here are three essentials that I cannot do without in my first aid kit. So the first one is ooh, arnica pellets. Sorry there's a lot of flies out here today. Arnica pellets. That's probably backwards for you. Um, and I am talking about the homeopathic pellets um, not the whole herb uh, form, not the whole herb like you'd find in a tincture or something like that. And Arnica, I'll shake it up so you can hear it, pellets. Arnica is good for all kinds of trauma. Um, I use it for like a blow that would cause bruising. So if somebody takes a fall on their hip or something and you know that's going to bruise, I would use it for that. I use it for sprains and strains. I use it for head trauma. I use and I use it for emotional trauma. So Arnica is a fantastic multitasker in that way. Um, a lot of times in a patient that has an acute injury, I'll prescribe two pellets um, every 30 or 60 minutes right after they have injured themselves. Um, and once again, don't use Arnica orally in a whole herb like a, a tincture. Um, you want to avoid that form for internal use because at certain doses, Arnica is toxic. The homeopathic is safe. Um, the whole herb is good to use topically. And so reserve the, the Arnica tincture, liniments and that kind of thing for external use rather than internal use and the pellets for your internal use. Okay, so oops, the next item I have, oh, <laughs> my Arnica is blowing away. The next item I have is Super Sab. That's going to be backwards too. Um, Super Sab is the must have salve in my first aid kit. Um, Super Sab is going to prevent or treat a fungal or bacterial infection. That's why I would use it. Um, it helps with a proper, with, it helps to mount a proper inflammatory response. So in people that I see whose skin gets hyper inflamed, Super Sav can help modulate that reaction um, to where that inflammation is a little bit more appropriate and useful for that person. Um, Super Sav also provides pain relief. So if I scrape myself in my skin or I cut my skin and it's stingy and painful and achy, when I put my Super Sav on, um, it definitely alleviates that, um, that pain. So, um, oh, and it's a great emollient. So basically an emollient is something that soothes, soothes the skin. And there are herbs in here that are really great skin soothers. So if your skin is dry or cracked, which happens all the time up here in Northern Arizona, um, Super Sav is a great thing to, to try to soothe your skin in those cases. And generally I'm going to use Super Sav for cuts, scrapes, burns and the various weird skin stuff that pops up um, just in the course of having uh, a life. <laughs> and so I want to tell you too, 
that the website for Super Sav is supersav.com. And I'm a big proponent of ordering things, uh, if you're gonna order online, ordering them from the source or finding them locally. Um, it, there's a lot more value in that than feeding a company that makes, whose owner is darn near a trillionaire, um, you know, he doesn't need your money and our smaller companies certainly do. So um, I encourage you to go local or go to the source. All right, my third essential for my first aid kit is um, tea relief gel. This is actually a cream, not a gel. So tea relief gel or cream. Um, a lot of people will also use a homeopathic arnica gel or cream. And I tend to use them fairly interchangeably. Now tea relief and the arnica are homeopathic gels or creams that can be used for various types of tissue trauma. Um, this kind of uh, topical application is going to help provide a proper inflammatory response. Um, when we get injured, we don't wanna to totally shut down that immune response because that's our healing response and we need that inflammation to heal us. So this is gonna help modulate it in a healthy way. Um, your tea relief or arnica uh, topically is going to provide some pain relief. Um, and I use this type of product for sprains, strains, muscle tears, general muscle pain, um, and then for stuff that gets tweaked. <laughs> um, like let's say it's winter time and you're shoveling snow and you tweak your low back. That's when I would, I would on myself use tea relief or you know, somebody's out hiking and they tweak that knee that's real sensitive. Um, that's when I, you know, for me, I would try some tea relief or arnica gel on that. The only trick with these guys is that um, you don't want to use them on broken skin. Um, you know, we don't want to create an infection um, and we don't want any of the ingredients in here, you know, going into your whole system and, you know, on the outside chance that you're going to create a, create a problem like that. Okay. So those are my three essentials. Um, if you've made it this far in the video, um, I'd really like to hear what you are interested in hearing more about as far as natural first aid is concerned. Um, because um, I'm planning on teaching Nature Aid, which is my natural first aid course, coming up in the very near future. And I want to get you more information about, about natural first aid. And if you're interested in Nature Aid, check back on my social media. You can certainly do that. Or you can sign up for my email list. Um, my VIP email list folks will get advance notice about the course. Um, and I will link the, my, I'll put a link for my email um, in my bio if you're watching this on IGTV. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'll put a link in the description. Um, and if you're watching this on Facebook, I'll put a link down in the comments. And I'll also link uh, SuperSav, their website as well, because um, I'd love it if you wanted to get this product, if you could get it from them. And also, last but not least, please share this video. If you know somebody who's interested in natural first aid and would appreciate this information, it's, you know, it's free to share. And my goal, one of my goals, is to help empower people to take some control around their own health and feel empowered, you know, to, to prompt some self-healing. So don't keep this to yourself. Um, share it because the more, the more healthy people there are, the better. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for sticking with me and I will see you next time.